the James Webb Space Telescope has provided a remarkable glimpse into the early universe, capturing light from stars surrounding some of the earliest supermassive black holes, massive cosmic entities existing less than a billion years after the Big Bang. These observations, spearheaded by a team from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, delve into the monumental question of how such black holes, situated at the core of galaxies, could attain masses millions or even billions of times that of our sun so quickly. Furthermore, this research might even solve the long-standing mystery of whether galaxies or supermassive black holes formed first. In this video, we will explore how the JWST's findings are reshaping our understanding of these cosmic giants, revealing the processes that fuel their rapid growth and their profound impact on the structure of the universe. Data from the James Webb Space Telescope have profoundly challenged the traditional views of galaxy formation, emphasizing the pivotal role of supermassive black holes. Traditionally, it was believed that galaxies formed first, with black holes developing subsequently from the material within these galaxies. However, observations from Webb suggest a reversal of this sequence. Supermassive black holes may have formed first, exerting significant gravitational influences that shape the entire galaxy formation process from the outset. These early black holes, known as heavy seeds, appear to have not only influenced, but directed the formation and evolution of their host galaxies from their very beginnings. The feedback process where a black hole's energy output impacts star formation within its galaxy is pivotal in shaping not just the structure and size of galaxies, but also their evolutionary pathways. This feedback can occur in two primary forms. The first is energetic feedback, which involves the radiation and winds generated by the accretion of material onto the black hole. As matter falls into the black hole, it heats up and radiates energy. This energy can heat the surrounding gas increasing its pressure and preventing it from collapsing to form new stars. Over time, this can lead to lower star formation rates in regions close to the black hole. The second is mechanical feedback, where supermassive black holes can also eject material at high velocities through jets. These jets can extend well beyond the galaxy, pushing out interstellar material and clearing out central regions of the galaxy. This removal of gas also suppresses star formation, by removing the material necessary to build new stars. Spectroscopic analysis plays a crucial role in understanding these processes by allowing astronomers to directly observe the signatures of gas dynamics around black holes. Through the spectra, scientists can detect emission and absorption lines that indicate the presence of various elements, their velocities, and temperatures. These data help determine how the black hole's activity influences the surrounding medium. For example, blue-shifted emission lines can indicate gas moving towards us, often expelled by the black hole, while red-shifted lines suggest inflowing gas. By linking these observations with theoretical models, astronomers can better understand how supermassive black holes regulate the growth and development of their host galaxies. This evidence indicates that supermassive black holes were active agents in galaxy formation, challenging the traditional sequential model and suggesting the need for new theories that acknowledge the black hole's fundamental role from the earliest stages. Let's journey back to the early universe, about a half billion years after the Big Bang. Here, the stage is set for the emergence of cosmic giants. Webb allows us a glimpse over 13 billion years into the past to witness the formation of today's supermassive black holes. These weren't mere pinpoints of light, but massive seeds poised for rapid growth, setting the pace for cosmic evolution far earlier than we once imagined. Traditional theories posited that black holes grew slowly over billions of years through mass accumulation and merging with other black holes. However, Recent web observations challenged this view significantly. Light analysis from distant galaxies reveals that some early black holes, such as the one in Galaxy Sears 1019, 
reached massive sizes, about 9 million solar masses, only 570 million years after the Big Bang, supporting the direct collapse theory. This theory suggests that supermassive black holes could form rapidly from large gas clouds, bypassing the usual intermediate stages of star or smaller black hole formation, particularly in regions of early galaxies with dense gas where gravitational forces were sufficient for such processes. These observations underscore Webb's unparalleled capability to observe these distant phenomena in high resolution, near and mid infrared, providing crucial insights into the universe's earliest epochs and illuminating the formation of its most massive structures. This advanced observational power allows astronomers to study these black holes in unprecedented detail, further refining our understanding of how these cosmic giants influenced the early universe. Quasars, the universe's most luminous beacons, play a crucial role in understanding the growth and behavior of supermassive black holes. Powered by black holes at galaxy centers, quasars illuminate the cosmic landscape, making them visible over vast distances. Recent data from the web has confirmed their presence in the early universe and brought fresh insights into their structure and dynamics. These quasars provide a window into black hole activity through detailed spectral analysis, revealing how black holes consume surrounding material. This analysis helps determine black hole mass, accretion rates, and the characteristics of outflowing jets, phenomena that extend thousands of light years and influence galaxy formation and evolution. Additionally, the light from them carries information about the chemical environment of the early universe, showcasing elements like iron and magnesium that indicate areas of intense stellar activity. The arrangement of these quasars across the sky offers a tool for mapping the universe's large-scale structure, including dark matter distribution and the cosmic web, which governs the organization of galaxies. The radiation and jets from quasars also play a significant role in galactic feedback processes, heating surrounding gases and impacting star formation, which can alter the evolution of galaxies from vibrant star-forming regions to quieter, quiescent states. In conclusion, Webb's ongoing monitoring of quasars enriches our models of black hole growth and their influence on host galaxies from their formation stages, providing vital insights for understanding galaxy life cycles and cosmic evolution. This research into quasars not only uncovers details about distant cosmic lights, but delves into the fundamental processes shaping the universe, contributing essential pieces to the puzzle of our vast, enigmatic cosmos. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of cosmic giants and their radiant heralds, the quasars. As the James Webb Space Telescope continues to unlock the mysteries of the early universe, stay tuned for more revelations that reshape our understanding of the cosmos. Keep looking up, stay curious, and explore the universe with us. Your journey through the stars has only just begun.